Susan Wojcicki here. Um, she's been here before, and uh, she is the Senior Vice President of Advertising at Google. Uh, if anyone sees a lot of data, it's Susan. Um, and she is going to show us something for the first time. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. Please welcome Susan to Web2. Great. So when John told me the conference was going to be called the Data Frame, I thought there would be no better product to talk about than Google Analytics, um, which is about a lot of data. Um, Google Analytics is a free tool that we offer that enables websites, application developers, anyone who has traffic and wants to know what is actually happening on their site. So we're really excited to announce some new functionality and features in Google Analytics uh, today. And uh, Phil Moy is going to be here with me. He's going to help me run some of those demos and show them to all of you. Um, to, so to set the context, I thought I'd get started with a quote. Um, and the quote is, probably some of you have seen this before. This is a famous quote from John Wanamaker. John Wanamaker was a really innovative retailer in the 19th century. And he said, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is I don't know which half. Um, now, th he's expressing a sentiment that I think really all marketers, all website owners, anyone who's running any kind of business wants to know. They want to have more data. They want to understand, well, what's actually happening on my site? Who, how are my users moving around? What's actually working? Which of my advertising is working? What are my users actually doing and what do they like? Um, the, pr the good news is that today we have a lot of information. We have certainly much, much more than John Wanamaker had. And um, one of the best tools to see that is Google Analytics. So I'd like to just sort of jump in. And um, for those of you who haven't seen it, this is a live Google Analytics account. Uh, this is not the new part. I'm going to get to the new part. Um, but this is just to sort of set the context. So uh, Google has a store. And it's called googlestore.com. And this is the real live data for our store. So you can see there's a lot of specifics here. The specifics are exactly, we had 389,828 visits, precisely, uh, during this time frame. And you can see how many of them returned. Um, you can see how long they're on the site. They're on the site for more than one minute. So this is really a lot of data, and it's really useful. Uh, but what it doesn't show is it doesn't show if you're a site owner, you might want to know, well, how are my users moving around the site? What are they doing? Are they getting stuck? Are they converting? Where are they not converting? Where are they leaving? And although there's a lot more information behind Google Analytics, this, basic, this information right now doesn't show that to you. So we thought, like, well, how can we show that? That's really important. Most websites, most application developers, they want to see it. So we got our inspiration from a very unusual place. In fact, I'm pretty confident that nobody else in the conference, like nobody, got their inspiration here. And that is from the 19th century, again. Um, so um, um, let's see, is this the next slide here? Yeah. Well, so if, and that's from the 19th century. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But if we looked at how our users moved around, we would see that it would look something like this, which would be a spaghetti graph. Um, and again, this is not very useful. And this is also not what we're announcing. And this would get much, much more complicated if we had even more pages. This is only 28 pages. Um, and so we're like, how do you make this really useful? How do we show this to our users? Because this isn't the kind of data that anyone would want to process. So as I mentioned, we looked at the 19th century, and we found this graph. Um, which is known to be one of the best um, sand key diagrams ever done. And sand key diagrams show flows. They show flows, in this case, of people. So this is a diagram of Napoleon's march on Moscow. It shows how people moved from Lithuania. Um, so what's today Lithuania? So if you look at the very beginning of the brown part um, here, this shows that they started with about 500,000 men. The thickness 
here shows how many men there were. You can see that they started marching to Moscow. They started losing people. Some people defected. And as they got to Moscow, they had fewer and fewer people. And then the black shows the return. And it shows how, again, they lost people. And tragically, that, that, sat, that thin line at the end shows that there were about 10,000 people who returned. So this is a lot of data. It shows time. It shows motion. Um, it tells a story. Uh, it, tells, it tells a story with a lot of information, and it shows it really concisely and quickly. But what it doesn't show is I can't drill down. I can't make it static. I can't, it's static. I can't make it dynamic. I can't say, well, what happened to people who like, had horses? Or like the people who spoke Russian or the people who spoke French, did they, were they more likely to survive? Were they more likely to defect? Um, we can't figure that out here. So we, um, so we took this information and we made it dynamic because that's what the web does so well. So we took our, these, flow, um, these flow diagrams, these sand key diagrams, um, and we made them even better. Um, and so we're very pleased to announce uh, the sand uh, key diagrams in Google Analytics. We're calling them flow visualization. And the flow visualization enables us to be able to show how people are moving around sites. It's just like people are moving around in the, in the um, diagram I showed about Moscow. People are a we're able to show how people are moving around in sites. And what makes the flow visualization so powerful is it takes data and it tells a story that is understood within seconds. So I'm going to turn right back to the Google Store data, which again is live data, and we're going to see um, these flow visualizations. And again, this is the first time that we've shown this outside of Google. We're launching it today. And for all of those that are analytics users, um, we're rolling this out um, over the next couple of weeks into all of the accounts starting today. But if anyone at the conference does want to have it today, um, please come and see Phil. Um, Phil will be he here, and Phil will um, be able to enable your account today. So yeah, we're, we're super excited about this, because we think this is going to help data be told in a story that can be understood very quickly and easily. So let's move to the store. And you can see here you know, our users. Um, you can sort by many different criteria. Um, in this case, we're sorting by browser. And we can see uh, here how many, we have a lot of Chrome users who go to the Google Store. The Google Store, you can buy t-shirts and bean bags and pretty much you know, anything that says Google on it. And um, you can see this is how our traffic breaks out. You can look at our product categories. Um, and if you mounts over it, you can see that we're actually losing a lot of people. We lose 85% of them after they look at the product categories. We can look at the shopping cart and see that the, that the red part here is much smaller, that we're losing 12% of them. Now, if we switch to another criteria here, we can go and we can actually look and we can see um, the, by country. And we can see that it, you're, these are different European countries and we can see how much traffic we're getting from these different countries. Um, we can look at the France flow. And if you look at the France flow and you compare it to the Spanish flow, you can see almost instantly that something different is happening. The traffic is moving around the site in a different way. So if you're a website owner, you can look at that and then say, well, um, like, is my site any different? You know, do I have an issue? Is something not translated right? And you can better understand, um, and you can better understand how your traffic should be optimized. So again, we're really excited about this. We think it's going to offer a lot, all website owners' ability to understand their data much better and to dive in. Um, we also offer custom variables, so anybody can actually change this. So if there's some variable that's important to you, you can change it, you can sort it, and you can see how your users are moving across your site with it. Yeah, so it's great. Yeah. So, actu so actually, Edward Tufte called this sand key diagram, the one I showed of Moscow, the best statistical graph that was ever created. And we feel that by adding these dynamic layers, we're going to be able to make these types of graphs even better. So we have one other thing we wanted to show you. Um, that's called real time. We launched this a few uh, weeks ago. And we've been in the process of rolling it out to all of our analytics users. Um, so we're going to go to the Google Store right now. It's googlestore.com. And we're going to see how many users are on our site right now. Like, this is not like 
five minutes ago, it's not two hours ago, it's right at this moment. Um, so there are 60 users right now on this site. Now, if any of you were to open up your laptop and go to the Google Store right now, which you can all do, it would say 61, and then it would say 62, and then it would say 63. Um, and so we're actually going to do that right now. Um, and the reason you want to do that is because, oh, look, it's already starting to go up. See, because I have some, we, we gave special messages to some people at Google to say, like, now, please go to the Google Store and, and have those numbers start to go up. So actually, yeah, so good people at Google who are listening, please go to the <laughs> Google Store, and magically it's going up. Um, but this is really, really important um, because if, you are, if you're doing social messaging, if you're sending out um, a Google Plus post, or you're doing any kind of social media marketing, you want to know what's happening on your site. Imagine you do a promotion. Well, did your promotion work? You don't want to know that two hours later. You don't want to know that three hours later. You want to know that right now. Is that working? That might affect how you do inventory and how you change your messaging. So we are super excited about this. Yeah, so, so a lot of people at Google were excited to participate in this. And all of you in your audience, like if you go, you will show up there too. So this shows you how real time this data really is. And it, we are doing this across the web. Um, for all of our analytics users. And so it is a, um, again, think about the scale of this type of data being done um, for all websites. So uh, we launched a few other small features today. Um, we enabled uh, nine more languages, bringing this total to, um, to 40. Two of those languages are right to left, Arabic, Hebrew. Um, and last week we also announced Premium, which is an enterprise version for businesses that want SLA or more custom um, functionality. So um, overall, I really encourage you to check out Google Analytics. We think it can enable all websites to have a lot more data, application developers. And, um, and lastly, we think John Wanamaker would, uh, would have wanted to have Google Analytics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. That was awesome. The only thing I wish you had done is actually put that on for Google.com. <laughs>